Hello, welcome back to the channel. We've had some sales that I would like to run through today so you can see the progress of the items that I've recently been picking up and you can see what they sell for. And you can see just how close to the money I was when I give them my estimations on how much I think things are worth or I'm gonna sell them for. I think we'll start off with Vinted just to move things along quite quickly. So remember, all items on Vinted are fee-free. So the price I say I got is the price I will receive. But please take into consideration that I will have to pay tax on these items. £5.92 is a mix of these little army figures by West somebody. I can't remember now, West Summer. West Air. There's like knights, Roman army, all those kinds of things. I paid... £3.50 from the charity shop, thinking they were going to be worth a hell of a lot more. Not a hell of a lot more, like 10 15 or something. They're not. They're not worth that much. Sold them for, what, just under six quid. They took 10 seconds to take pictures of, so I haven't really lost anything. 50 pence I paid for this, sold it for £3.45. It is a Monster Jam Grave Digger Grim Reaper action figure, apparently. Remember, when I sell things on Vinted, I'm either looking for a quick sale or it's car boot prices. So things like that that I pick up from the car boot without researching for 50p and realising on eBay it sells for about six or seven quid, I'll pop it on here for like four or five and just move it faster or two or three, whatever. Just low prices, faster sales. I combine price with efficiency and ease of sale when it comes to deciding what platform to put things on. A little bundle of two now or three, is it a bundle of three? It's a bundle of two, but three items has gone to Heidi. So Heidi, really appreciate your purchase. Thank you so much. I think this came into just about £10 something. £10 odd is a House of Tweed wallet, which is in very good physical like condition was wear. But as mentioned, the zip has sort of come away just here. I'm sure Heidi's got nimble fingers and we'll sort that. And two Estee Lauder makeup bags. So one, two, I'll pop that inside there. And if that fits inside there, it doesn't but those have both gone those three have whatever they've gone to Heidi Heidi really appreciate it thank you so much paid one pound for the wallet and two three three I paid three pound for it all so it owes me three pounds sold it for ten pounds something ten pounds sixty eight all in Adrian now has picked up the IKEA plush for five ninety nine I'm pretty sure that is, yeah, £5.99. pence. But when I picked him out of the box though, Adrian, he already had a little friend which I had to release and let go. He's nowhere to be seen now, don't worry. <laughs> Adrian, massively appreciate you. On his way to you shortly. What did I pay for that? A pound, I think, or 50p from last car boot sale. So I made a fiver on top. You know, if I had that on eBay, I might have been competing with 100 different people. Requisite jodhpurs. These are like horse ride. Well, not like they are. They're horse riding trousers. They owe me 50 pence. I think I paid 50p an item for 50p box bail thing at car boot sale. So for £6.21. pence. Moving on to eBay now. We have sold the center speaker from the Gale speakers. I'll put a screenshot up because it's up there. But the chap doesn't want me to send it until the 16th. So I'll mark it as dispatched. I'm actually going on holiday myself this week. I don't know if I've mentioned it yet. I'm only going to Bournemouth for a few days. So I'm probably there now when this video is out. When I come back, I'll dispatch it for the chap. £35. I'm into pure profit now. And I've still got one, two pairs of speakers just down there that I need to list. Which I'll estimate about £80 out of the lot. £22.99 now. We have sold the last of that Switch DS bundle. I think I got £65 for the Switch. £22.99 for this. And £18 for the Mario Kart. The Switch was fee-free, but tax, and I had to pay postage on that. The Switch game was £18 vintage, so no fees, but tax, and this £22.99. So we've made a good bit of profit on that. I paid £50 for everything. I think I've made about 40 quid on top. It didn't last too long at all. Sold the Mont Blanc pen. Such a massive, massive shame that it had a personalization on there. I listed it cheap as it was for £99.99. pence, And the chap actually messaged me and said, would you accept an offer of £85? That's all I'm willing to spend because I need to, which I didn't know was a thing. I'm going to need to get the engraving removed and re-engraved. So that's what's going to happen with this pen. It has engraving on it, which obviously really narrows down the kind of market for this. Or somebody like this chap who is going to re-engrave it i bought a big bundle of stuff for five pound this was just in there so this i think this owes me nothing now absolutely nothing 
sold for £88.99. Didn't realise I had shipping on that. He asked me for £85, so I sent him the offer. So in the messages, when somebody sends you a message without sending an offer, normally at the top, if you look before you reply, there'll be an option that says send offer. So if they're saying to you what's the best you can do in that message thread, you can reply with the offer. So that's exactly what I did. Listed some more of those remote controls the other day just to start getting through them. This is a Panasonic one. This is for the HDD recorder. The actual recorder itself is quite an expensive piece of kit. I've got one down there, but I can see that I've got a remote control taped to it. So I don't need this one. Sold it for £13 and 29 pence. The Chameleon Technology Smart Meter that I picked up for a pound, I think. I think I'm starting to lose my memory. I'm normally quite good at remembering stuff. Can't remember, but it wasn't a lot. £13 all in. £14.24 for this Mario. I remembered the name of it now. I had it. Uh, Piranha Plant. There we go. Last time I couldn't remember it. I was saying Venus Fly something something. Piranha Plant. It has a little light in here. It's USB activated. This one's actually gone to Samantha. She sent me a little note on the order as well. So Samantha, really appreciate your purchase. I had this on Vinted for about three weeks and I was getting loads. I think I had like 45 watches, but no bites pun intended it wasn't intended but so i listed it over to ebay and it sold so samantha massively appreciate it be on its way to you shortly thank you <coughs> blur part of the 35 pound playstation pickup that i made yesterday or the day before i can't remember to be honest with you uh there was a few games in there that all worth listing separately blur has sold for one two three four 12 pound 34 quite like that chair keeps spinning so after fees and postage we're already eight pound back into our bundle Ikea cloud shape lamp. This has sold for a grand total of £16.28. pence. I picked this one up and a moon one for a pound each a little while ago. I sold the moon one immediately, like four months ago. So this one again is pure profit. So £16.28 pence all in on that one. And we've had another sale from the Jaguar NES pickup stuff. We have sold Doom. So I've already sold the Jaguar and I've received positive feedback on that one as well, which is always nice to see, isn't it? On a big sale. But this has sold for £59.98 all in. And I've also sold the NES. I'll get around to that one in a second. So out of all of that stuff that's there, so out of the whole NES, Jaguar, whatever bundle, all I've got left is one game, Wolfenstein 3D. Oh, and a couple of NES games. That's it. So we might as well stick on to that subject, which brings us to the NES. So once I'd actually checked out the NES and fully tested it and cleaned it, etc., etc., we noticed, or say we, I noticed there was a split in the power lead, which I have repaired the best I can, and it does work. I've, put, I've actually used electrical tape and some shrink wrap, but the shrink stuff I had was too big, so it's only shrunk a certain amount. And some splits on the controllers where the actual block meets, where they've been twisted for so long. I untwisted them and they went, and they split just there. The wires are fine, but just the exterior wire. So we are selling the NES console with the gun and Duck Hunt, two control pads with the power leads, etc., etc., And that has gone to Mark. Mark, really appreciate you, mate. So I sent him a message and said, I've just gone through it all. These are the issues. I haven't looked into price-wise yet. Obviously, I'll work out the market value and then knock down a nice chunk for you guys because whenever I sell to you, I always like to make sure I'm doing the deal I can. I said, in the meantime, Mark, with the information that you know, with the damages, etc., if you'd like to send me an offer during that time, it's going to speed up the process because obviously I'm quite busy when I do bits in between. Got a message back from Mark saying, how does £70 sound? Well, basically he said, those wires, man. And I appreciate it, I know. He said, how does £70 sound? And I thought, £70 is not bad, but if I can get £75 for it, I'll be even happier because that'll cover most of the postage and I'll be like £68, whatever, in profit. Mark said, no problem, I'll send it over. A couple of minutes later, I got a notification from my bank. Mark had paid. He paid £80. Mark had paid £80. He said, get yourself a coffee. Was it a coffee? I think he said, get yourself a coffee. Get yourself an ice cream. So this weekend, I will be getting me, Ada. Actually, no, because there's me, Emma, Ada, George, Nana, Luke, Kerry, Aurora, and Luna. I think I'll just keep myself an ice cream. Mark, Mark, really appreciate you, mate. He does have an eBay account called Retro Mark. He sells all kinds of bits and pieces on there. You can imagine the sort of stuff he gets. And all in between, please go and give his eBay store a little follow if you want to keep up to date with some of the stuff that he lists again mark thank you so much mate on its way to you shortly it is sunday today and i'm going away monday so i'll make sure it's done before then promise and carlos he reached out and said to me dude have you got that north face bag 
So I picked this up for five pounds at the car boot sale two weeks ago, maybe something like that. I've had a look over all the zips are intact. There's no holes or wear. It does have a few little marks, but really nothing major at all. You can barely see it even on the camera. And it has that kind of been stuck in a garage for a little while smell, but that'll soon clean up. It's a 50 litre. It's a really good one as well. It's worth a hell of a lot more than what I sold it to him for. But I made a point of, you know, as I said before, I like to do you guys good deals. Normally when it comes to selling stuff, as long as you're not taking the mickey out of me, I'll work out money invested, profit percentage flip, and then I'll base my decision on that. This cost me £5. I sold it to Carlos for £30 all in. So after postage, I make about 26 quid. So I take away, I make about £21 total. I'm happy with that. Carlos has got himself a good deal because these sell for way more than £30 pre-owned. You can take a little look yourself. It's the 50 litre version. Really, really nice. We've got little hits on each of the edges there. A little place for some ID card and whatever else. Just a really, really nice bag. So, Carlos, really appreciate your purchase, mate. And again, the same was with Mark. That'll be on its way to you before I leave. And regarding sales, unless I'm missing anything, that is it. So, I don't know what the schedule for these videos are going to be while I'm away. So, hopefully, I've managed to use my brain a little bit and schedule some and save some for while I'm off. But regardless, I'm going to be down in tools for the next four days. And I will see you when I'm back bright and bushy-tailed hopefully ready to crack on with some more car boot sales before the season's end. Really appreciate you for watching. Take care. Thank you to everyone who's purchased online, Instagram, eBay, whatever you've done. I appreciate it massively. It all goes towards the pot. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.